Here we are at Vintage La Mesa. Gonna check out their trunk show for their one and a half year celebration of business. Let's meet the girl behind this whole shindig, girl boss, Shandice of Vintage La Mesa. Hi guys, Shandy from Vintage La Mesa. Welcome to our vintage trunk show. We are celebrating one year and a half. Today you will find handmade and vintage goods all over the parking lot as well as the store. Take a look at some of our vendors that we have right now. The special thing about everybody is they use a touch of hand. So whether it's hand-painted furniture or hand-knitted clothing, we do everything here. So come check us out. We have 11 vendors for you to shop and have fun at today. Um, besides that, I have my Brittany and my Amber right here. Come on down and hang out with them. So my name is Judy and I um, am here with my goodies from Lydia's Purple. So my kits are mostly from the 1970 era. Um, this is a bride and groom kit, a uh, counted cross stitch, wedding lace, and um, this is one, a needlepoint kit from the 70s that's all plaid from that era. Um, Avon kits, anyone that remembers Avon from the 70s, I, um, gosh, just probably most of mine are from that era. Some historical works which are fun and replicas to do, candle wicking pillow kits, and then a lot of vintage um, linens that my mom, my mom has collected over the years. She just loves vintage linens and also um, vintage commercial china. This is a Syracuse set from the 40s. The diners that always had these and they're just nice heavy mugs so we've always enjoyed using them ourselves at home. These are really fun French candelabras from pretty much the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. And, and how did you meet Shandis? And I met her, I came into her store. My parents live, my family lives in this area and I saw her storefront, she had a sign out, and I just thought, this is a great place, I'm going in. It just really drew me. It's awesome. Cool, well thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Craig Anderson, and I'm a watercolor artist. I've been doing uh, watercolor for about uh, 26 years. And today, uh, here at Vintage, we have all kinds of original watercolor art. I have a few prints of selected pieces. And I met uh, Shandice one time. We were looking for uh, something for the house, and she was really outgoing and personable, and she talked about the uh, show she was having, and I thought it'd be a good fit. That's so awesome. here we are. So come on by. And how long have you been doing this for? 26 years. Wow.
One last thing, I'm going to be at Art Walk next weekend, uh, Space 554 on Date Street. Come on by. Party designs, and I do um, paper flowers. I do flower walls, backdrops, photo booths, um, and then I also do like custom cake toppers. Just different events. I hand cut everything um, piece by piece and put everything together, glue everything. Yeah, so it's a lot of work, a lot of time put into it. I burned myself with the glue gun. <laughs> And then how did you meet Shandis? Um, I met her through mutual friends. Nice. Yeah. She's so you've known her for person. many years? Yes. Very cool. So cute. My name is Sedona and this is Wellness Wicks. I make all natural aromatherapy and crystal healing candles with soy, essential oils, and crystals. I met Shandice um, through a mutual friend actually who came into her shop. And what is your process to make these? Um, I make them in my kitchen, um, one by one in very micro batches. Um, just melting down the soy wax and at certain temperature adding essential oils based upon which oil it is um, to make sure that the oil captures the fragrance um, the best for a good burn um, and a good smell both before lighting and after lighting during the burn. Um, I hand select all the gems locally and sometimes out of San Diego, um, Sedona, Arizona, Borrego Springs. Very cool. Well, they smell great. Thank you. Already, I smell. Thank you so much. I met Shandy coming in to see the um, her store, which was so cute. And fell in love with her paint and decided to use it on my pet beds. That I do some, I take some vintage furniture and then repurpose it into the pet beds. also have some of these um, cards that are a little bit on the comical side where if you're going through a breakup or upset with somebody you can kind of write your feelings and then flush it down the toilet awesome. <laughs> and then um, on a little nicer side I have a uh, if you're going through a heartache you can kind of write what you need and plant it and some wildflowers will grow. Very cool. So different items and that then along awesome. my boyfriend is here with me who's running for Congress oh. in the 50th I district. I am Josh Butner running in uh, East County and North County San Diego. Very cool. Yeah so vote on June 5th. <laughs> June 5th. <laughs> for Josh Butner please. <laughs> I met Shandy's, Shandy, as I call her, because she's. we came in looking for something and 
she knows my daughter. My daughter and her went to high school together. And we got to talking, and when she asked, I said something about, because I was looking at what she had in her shop, and I said, do you take other people's things? Mm -hmm. Because I make animals. And I showed her what I made, and she goes, oh my gosh, you have to be in my craft fair. So I said, okay. Very cool. Um, I started doing this nine years ago when I became unemployed for a small amount of time, and my mother said, you need something to do, and gave me a pattern and some stuffing. And I started a craft fair at my church, and this is what I started doing. And I branched out to make different animals like bunnies and elephants and dogs and cats. And I do it as a hobby. It's just fun for me. And it keeps me sane. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Being creative does. <laughs> yeah, it does. And it, it is a way to get out stuff. And people love them. And they're, they're just fun. Very cool. The Padres one. They just came out with this fabric recently. That's they didn't awesome. have. Um, they didn't have. The, I like the cotton fabrics, and they didn't have uh, cotton for Padres or any of the major leagues for a long time. And just last year they came out with it. So I can't sell these technically. Yeah. But oh wow! Yeah, but I can make them for you. So I just charge labor. Hi, we're from Silk Road Studio. We do interior design and remarking of and rebuilding of furniture and other interior design services. Christy and I have been in business for about 10 years. Hi, I'm Christy Wilson. I'm an interior designer, also a kitchen and bath designer, as well as a creator of extraordinary things. <laughs> um, here at Silk Road Studio, we're actually an interior design firm, but we get into unique, handmade, one-of-a-kind things. And um, Edie and I met actually through design school um, years ago, like uh, 10, 12, 13 years ago. So she and I have been partnered up for years. And so she had an upholstery business for 20 years. And then I've, and she's also an interior designer, and I've been doing interior design since 2000. And so we collect, just collect things as we go. We can't help it. And then oh, yeah. we met Shandy when she opened Vintage La Mesa here. We saw her store and drove by and, of course, had to stop in, yeah. uh, curious. And then we had a client that wanted to sell some more, so we stopped in to talk to her. She let us know about the Vintage Trunk Show, and I said, oh, I have a portable garage full of things. <laughs> and we still have more. We have a plethora of inventory. Awesome. So, but... We pulled it together for the show. It's very cute. Yeah, we're and then we have an iron bed that's handcrafted in Texas. Oh, that yeah. one right there with the birds. Oh, wow. They can come in any size. Yeah. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, and it unhooks really easily. It fits together and like four branches come together. The birds on the top hook, up, hook it together. And then we're making uh, these hot air balloons so for like. out of our leftover samples for baby rooms and very cool. And then we made so the yeah, I'm the, sorry. Yeah, I just recently did a. Um, an entire remodel of the house. It was farmhouse design. Oh, wow. And we put up shiplap uh -huh. and redid the fireplace and took oh, down wow. arches and replaced windows and doors and totally just changed the whole interior of this house to yeah. really give it that warm, cozy That's so farmhouse fun. feel. Definitely. No, I Walk around a little yeah. bit and think about it. Yeah. I've known she 
Candace forever. I'm actually really good friends with her younger sister, but we became spirit animals when we redecorated my whole house together a few years ago before she even had the shop. So that was super fun. Um, I sell Lula Road clothing, so it's um, it is a direct sales company, but it's great because we own all of our own inventory and everything like that. So a whole, it's a whole variety of styles: dresses, skirts, shirts, leggings, a little bit of everything. Tops ranging in sizes extra extra small through 3XL. So there's definitely something for everyone, which is kind of my favorite part. I have customers that are 90 and customers that are 22. So very cool. <laughs> it's really fun. Definitely a fun, um, fun company. The best thing about LuLaRoe though is that every piece is pretty unique because they only make 5,000 of every print and that's spread amongst all sorts of different styles and sizes and everything. So if you see it once, you might not see it again. Very cool. I'm Megan and this is Bailey. We're Hi. with Salty Bones Bikinis. We make handmade swimwear. Um, it's customizable. You can choose your own pattern, choose your own style. 100% reversible. 100% reversible. We have a one pieces, two pieces, um, and then we also do hats, sweatshirts, cover ups, tanks, stuff like that. Um, yep, yeah, we're out here. We got started because um, we are action sports girls. We wakeboard, we surf, we ride jet skis, and we wanted bathing suits that were functional. So Very cool. these uh, these will stay on. <laughs> and we met Shannis through Alyssa and Kirsten. They are an awesome group of girls. All this networking is awesome. They're awesome, awesome people. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah.